Mrs. Yeah. We've been in the house for a little over a Hi. month now. Do you regret buying this inventory home? No. There are things. There are things. But I don't regret. Okay. So I think the, the vote would be like an overwhelming, yes, we love our house. Yes, we love the decision that we made to go the inventory route. We're going to talk about some of the reasons why it could be a great decision for you versus mm -hmm. building. But we're going to also do a little bit of a, a tour of our house today and kind of talk over some things that you should look out for to decide whether or not you want to build or to go the inventory route. All right. Sound good? Yes. All right, let's do it. So what sealed the Welcome. deal? What sealed the deal? Welcome to the house. What sealed the deal for you of why we went this route instead of the one-story Kingston that I wanted oh so bad? Why okay, did you so go this you route? sent me the Kingston, yes, right? So yes. we were looking at the the homes that they had in inventory. Yes. In this section, uh -huh. you come in, and I found from clicking on the Kingston, I found this one. Yes. And I was like, hmm, interesting. I want to also go see this one. And we happened to do it. And it, it was the layout. OK. What about this, the layout? Specifically, come come this way. Uh -huh. This, uh, you know, zhuzh that a one-story home can literally not give you. Yeah. So she's always been like a two-story a two-story girly she's always loved the everly plan it's my Highland. birthday so that's why they're around uh, yes also her birthday tell tell the missus happy birthday hi um and so she's always had the affinity is it for <laughs> the two-story with a look with the peekaboo look look down she's always yes. loved that the everly plan does yes. this for highland there's a few for highland that do that really pretty even in a smaller footprint, it just makes the house look really nice. So when we were looking at the Kingston, I can tell that she liked the floor plan, I but like the it. moment that she saw this one, she was like, nah, let's go see the two story. Exactly, yeah. And that's the thing with the inventory home. My first kind of knock is that you're gonna give up something. Let's yes. say you're choosing between a couple. That Kingston had the kitchen of everybody's dreams, yes. right? The white oak bottom cabinets, yes. the white oak wrapped island. Yep. And they were really doing it. Um, and it's it was the, it's the model. Yes. That it's the model in this area. So yes. when you walk into the model, you're like, okay, I want this house. Correct. Right. So when I saw this one though, I was like, it's missing a little bit of what I wanted. Yep. That very earthy tone which i think we brought in we yeah. have to bring it in ourselves and that's the whole thing with the inventory whatever you thought was missing you're going to be bringing it in yourself yeah so the the that's probably a great first point and not necessarily a con but one of the challenges of going inventory is that there's going to be some level of sacrifice and you really need to go into the inventory looking for the layout or the amount of spaces that yes, you want. Yes, the, the super non-negotiable. Super non-negotiable. So yeah. for us, our family, we were like, we need six spaces, and one of those spaces could be a loft, and this this specific layout did that very well. It did, yeah. Um, the Kingston was a little bit smaller, but actually had the same amount of design spaces, where it was yeah. six it with was, a media it, it space. It had it, and I had, had a everything. room, but it was a room. Yes. So when we go upstairs, they'll see yeah. why I picked this space. But I would say the biggest takeaway from this on an inventory is, is set your non-negotiables on spaces. Yes. And if the spaces work for you, really consider it. And then just kind of do little touches along the way. She's at home, so. She's at home. She's doing her thing. <laughs> One of the little touches that kind of alluded to what you talked about the, in the first part of this was mm -hmm some sacrifices on the kitchen like you didn't like the door I didn't hardware. get to pick this guy so these these tiles and things in here i wouldn't have picked these tiles although i think, I they're, think nice. they're although i think they're nice yeah i just wouldn't have chosen the color i yeah. wouldn't have chosen the busyness but yeah. i see why they did it and so it's growing on me immediately um aaron has a friend 
Okay, he knows a guy. If you move into an inventory home somewhere in Houston, Aaron knows a guy that can come and fix all of the things. He came here, he gave us the quote and everything, and and some time has gone by, and I'm like, wait, I think I kind of like this now. Yeah. It's, it's growing on me. And one of the things that I did was to switch out the door hardware. Yes. And I think that okay. has made a ton of difference in here compared to the nickel stuff that she had or that we had originally. But yes, I'm gonna uh, sweep in here and get some hard gotcha. water out. But yeah, so uh, one of the things that you may also have to be ready to do on an inventory is let's say, okay, my non-negotiables are the five or six spaces. Yeah. You may have to get the space and then turn it into your dream home, which is something that I push all the time to my clients. Yeah because you can kind of get the best of both worlds. Because another thing was that, okay, in the model, every time there's a model, guys, they're gonna take those cabinets up. Yes. You got an inventory home, it's likely right that your cabinets are not touching the ceiling Correct. because why would they add Correct, because that that's, that's just an extra cost yeah. that, so a builder like Highland Homes is gonna elevate this, yeah. right? So knowing what I know about the design center, I know that these tiles are not a level one tile, they're a step up. I know that having door hardware on the cabinets is, is an upgrade that you would pay for. So we came into it having some of these elevated things. I know that this countertop is not a level one countertop. It's like yeah, a level it, three it's or not four. The, it's not a base. It's not a base model, but it's yeah. just things that we may not have picked. We would have picked. Naturally. I would have picked, I would definitely have picked this counter. I wouldn't have picked the tile and I would have taken the cabinets to the top yeah. with the glass doors, Yeah. which now that I know what they cost, Maybe I don't need that. Yeah. And so, and, and that's another thing that when you're in the design center and you, you come with the inspiration of some of these models, it's oftentimes kind of easy to get lost in the fact that these models may have fifty to $70,000 in upgrades yeah. and weighing out whether or not that makes the most sense for you and your family financially to even do that, yeah. where you can get into an inventory space that may have some of those things or most of those things and then you do it over time. Yeah. But, and on that, okay, so you got it. Let's say you get an inventory home, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to swap stuff out. This isn't base, so this is yeah. expensive. Yeah. So you're taking this nice. Nice mowing. It's mowing. They have commercials. I even know who that is. Right. Um, you want to take this off, and I'm looking at Amazon, right? It's like, okay, it doesn't cost that much to get all black hardware, but you're going to take something nice off yeah. to put something not as nice on. And so that's been a bit of the hold up on all these ideas that I had, yeah. like uh, those. I would in no way have chosen these light fixtures. And yeah. once you start changing out hardware, now this is the wrong color, yeah. right? And now this is the wrong color. And so I'm having to take it a little easy. And yeah, and that's just something that we're working through. Yeah. Week by week, like <laughs> day by day, change, what's gonna change, what's, what's gonna, gonna stay the same. Today. But I think overall, the layout, we love the layout. Yeah. Overall, I think the tile is growing on her. I do believe that at some point in time, that's going to get changed next, out. Next year or so, I'll um, change it. Or, I, or, you know, I didn't get a hood I do hood think that these cover. are going to be, I do think that these are going to be switched out here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's just some of the growing pains of being in an inventory house. Yeah. But I think that overall, we would say that we love the home. Oh, it, it's a wonderful home. I would not pick another one. Um, I don't. That could be a fun video where you take me around to see. If I'm, not even gonna frustrate my, I'm not even going frustrate. I'm not even going to frustrate myself with that one because I know that there's so many that now, that as I we've toured be. other people's houses that are at a different, even price point. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't I even know if I want. Money. But for for humor, we probably will do that. Yeah. Um, but yes, overall, when we toured this, we could tell even though she had bumped her head and she was crying this whole tour. Yeah. Even though all of that, I could tell when we were in this house, like this house was the one we needed. I agree. Remember that time you Cool, cool. So let's show them a little bit more of the house. Yeah. Okay, this is my favorite part, is that they put an extra closet for no reason inside of a closet. We so don't have a much little, in there, but. A little swirly dirly Harry, Harry Potter, Potter closet, closet in there. That's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. um, I, this is an office and you know, just in case something's labeled anything, it could be whatever you want it to be, yep. right? This is an office, but we use this as our TV slash movie room. Yep. Um, and it's cool. We have all the LED lights flowing when we're in here watching movies. It really works. This is the perfect layout of an office. Yes. But it can be whatever you want. Yep. And that, that's another thing. So in the Kingston, we would have had like a defined media space. 
we yeah. would have had that full on like this is our movie room it would have had the the right plugs and all those things yeah um but as we kind of looked at the space and our needs we have a room that was originally like a i guess like an in-law kind of suite sort of area that we're going to turn into the office so you will eventually start seeing content in here when i'm all set up yeah. um but we turned this into my office and actually made the office into the media room and we're already adding our touches in there we got our furniture going in there we got some lighting going in there so we're just kind of making the space whatever we want to make it yeah because we came into this thing saying we need this amount of spaces to do this thing with the home yeah and it actually had one more it was like one more space than what we needed yeah. it, it really outdid itself in, yep. in the area i love our living room the the um the couch and the with the couch in it that had to grow on me yeah you don't you didn't get to pick your layout but it it looks it, in my head when I thought dream home this yeah. is what it this is what it gets this is what you were feeling this is what I was feeling and this is this is a vibe man just like the view of this right now there's several times several times a day where we'll just look at each other and be like man this is our house yeah right and so. I do think that there's a certain uh, grandness that comes with this two story that that you were fighting, never, honey. You were fighting. We would have never got with the one story. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think that there are several times a day where I'm just like, man, this is our house. And yeah. It's cool. It's really cool. Yep. You wanna go upstairs? Yeah, we'll go upstairs. Also, this is a this is a Panamera plan. So this is one that I've never even seen in Houston. This is a new plan that I've never seen out here. I think. Mm -hmm. They brought this from either Dallas or Austin. And so another one of the reasons why I think this one kind of sat on the market and we were able to get point number two is able to get this price down. Yes. Well under where they had this listed. They had this listed at saving. like 530, 540 originally. And we got it way, way less than that, just based on. I personally think just people not knowing what this plan looked like, didn't having any reference. Yeah. If you didn't want to drive to Dallas. I don't think people could see the vision of it. If you didn't want to drive to Dallas or Austin to see what this looked like before, it would have been tough to really just get this one yeah. sold. And so we saw it, it worked out for our needs, but I was that's like, this another. is just a very big Everly. Yeah. It basically was a big Everly with some yeah. extra little zhuzhs on it. You gotta know the floor plans and that's why you need a real estate agent to bring you because they probably have been into something. Sh shameless like plug, this. thank you. Thank you, you see you. what I did thank there? You. Shameless plug. <laughs> but Spiral Staircase, this is kind of more so known in Western homes. I would say mm -hmm. they're probably more known for doing this and having a little rotunda up above it. Yeah, this was a very Western-like thing to have in a Highland. Yeah, so that's the 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 view that my wife loves it being was able this. to peekaboo and then having this game game room that she can turn into our little Montessori homeschool which we plan on doing yeah and which we are actively doing right she's, so she's going to a, a few weeks of school here already and it's wonderful all right what about the guest rooms if yes they, um yeah Okay. Okay. <laughs> so moving right on. All right. The guest room is a great size. The rooms upstairs are a great size. Yep. Um, we've had a few guests already. Stay with me. Um, all the closet sizes. If I had chosen, right? If I had to build, I would have made all of the closets up here and that this, size. And that is. The, the biggest gripe that I will have with an inventory is number of plugs, like locations of plugs and, yeah. and sizes of like closets because in the pre-construction meeting, if you're designing and building it from the ground up, there are little tweaks that you can make and little requests that you can have priced out by the, the design team and the construction team where they, for example, could have made my daughter's closet a little bit bigger closet, or we could have had more outlets okay. in certain places where we're and right now. And we're having now, to add them. We're yeah. having to add outlets and After there's just the things that if we would have gone to the design center and we would have kind of picked everything out, yeah. There, there's just things that we would have done to make this, to make this space bigger. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, I think this is the best room upstairs, which makes sense. We have one kid. She should have the best room, yes. but it has the worst closet. It has the worst closet. Yeah. And, and because of how that is, 
maybe this addition I haven't looked at this plan directly, but this is probably an addition to make this like a, a separated ensuite. It's kind of similar to how they do the 222 plan in the big model here, where they have they have oh, wow. like the the big bedroom for the, the teenage kid. It's kind of how it's set up where they have their own little apartment suite on yeah. the second level. And I think they tried to do this, but didn't quite have the square footage to make it make sense. Yeah. And so in the it design just, center, that whole I probably closet. would have stolen some room from this secondary linen closet and kind of made that all part of one closet. Just some of the things that I would have asked for to make it a little bit more functional, like out of the gate. Yeah. And then the last thing with water being so hard out here. Oh my goodness. I would have 1000% had them pre-plumbed for the, the loop for the water softener. Yes. I've gotten some quotes, just kind of like everything out here, you get some quotes and the quotes that I've gotten to add it to our system and not mess up everything is basically anywhere from like three to like $5,000 right now. Mm -hmm. And so it would have been a little bit cheaper and it would have been a little less destructive to actually do that through the builder because they would have already had that plumbing system and that loop set up prior to us moving here. And would you say that most inventory homes would not have a water softener? I will say 90, 9% of yeah. the inventory homes will not have a water softener. So if that's something that you really care about, that's gonna be something that you're either gonna say, hey, we're gonna do this as soon as we move in and we'll just pay whatever that yeah. price is. If you have sensitive skin or your kids have eczema or something like that, yeah. that would be a pretty big deal. It would be a pretty big deal. And so it's, it's just being saying, hey, we're cool with the spaces and there's something kind of like the cabinetry or kind of like the tile. It's just something that you're gonna add to the list to do afterwards and understand that you're gonna bust through some walls and mess with some plumbing and doing some things that are a little bit more construction heavy yeah if you're okay with that then fine but it's one of those things that especially now that the missus is in here and she's talking about some some skin irritation yes and things i have very having, sensitive skin <laughs> that's just stuff that we're just dealing with in an inventory home yes um, also fans fans fans, fans. <laughs> so it's it's a it's another thing like not every builder gives you fans in every room now i'm gonna blame her oh, wait a minute, for man. for one of these because we should have had a fan in our primary jay was gonna put a fan jay is the 50 foot section meridian shout out to jay guy. that's my He's guy great. that's my he guy he was gonna put a fan but he was gonna put a gray another silver gray thing in this so house. i'm gonna walk away from her because she didn't have her design all set up she didn't know what all she wanted so she was like oh we're just gonna put a black one in there and we'll i don't want him to put it in there so now we got a little a little uh, Walmart fan <laughs> that we have Okay, to, it's Target. Okay, we got a little Target fan <laughs> that we have that comes on and she's complaining about how hot she is in that room. So now I'm probably gonna have to thumbtack somebody to come do it. But yeah. that's another thing to kind of keep in mind. When you're doing a design, you can put fans everywhere. You can put extra plugs everywhere. You can put these, these outlets anywhere that you want to put them as long as you're willing to pay for them. But here you kind of get the stock model. They decide what original wall it's going to go on and they just mm -hmm. put it in there. So definitely something to keep in mind if you're going the inventory route is that there's probably going to be some things that you're going to have to change or deal yeah. with until you're ready to, to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, customizing it, which is the whole but thing. But that's the whole thing. You're going to make it your own, right? So. You can either do it with them and maybe pay a little bit of a premium to go through that design center process. And have it done because what we're facing is the longer we're here, the more okay we are yeah. with these things. Nah, not some of these. I'm not, not okay. the fan. Yeah, not the fan. <laughs> but it's like it's just something that is just on that list of things as you're moving and as you're kind of yeah. dealing with getting settled into the new life do you want to also have a bunch of contractors in here just kind of doing all that exactly stuff? selling another house and yeah it's just a, a so lot. it's just a lot going on but i do think that like i said the benefits of potentially getting it down way lower on price mm -hmm. one benefit of going to inventory that we didn't talk about is we got to see what this house is like mm -hmm. in real time yes and and sometimes on many of these plans they may not have a house that's close enough or has all the picks that you made to actually see if you like it. Yes, we, we knew we could walk into we could, the house. We could we're walk gonna into it in. and we knew exactly yeah. what the house was gonna look like. And yeah. I know that I, from experience, I have a lot of clients that will look at a house online, looking at the plans, make these changes. And when they kind of walk into that house that first time, it's not like a disappointed face, yeah. but it's like a, ooh, I didn't expect it to quite look like that. Yeah. Because you're having to imagine You're so having much. to imagine it, or if you're in the design center, 
you're picking off a very small chop of, a, of let's say a piece of countertop yeah or you're looking at a very small panel of a cabinet and so seeing yes. it all together you can oftentimes be like i don't know if i would have right made that decision if i could see a full chop if of i saw it. the whole kitchen in this yeah. tile maybe that's what happened so with them picking that towel downstairs. Yeah, and so and so you never know. But one of the the hugest benefits of being in an inventory home is that you're gonna walk it. That is the layout. That is the house. That is the house, right? So there's no guesswork as far as what you're going to get. Yes. Favorite parts of the house. Do what are your favorite parts of the house? My that favorite you parts, other than my Harry most? Potter closet. Uh huh. I love uh, the gate. Okay. We are in a gated section. Yes. So that is not common for the Houston Metro, especially at the price that we got it. I ain't putting all our business out there. All right, yeah. So we're not gonna say the gate is. We ain't section. gonna say. We're not gonna say. <laughs> but I do like it. We're not gonna say. You know what we paid for that? It was <laughs> sub. It was sub five hundred, which is which is it unheard doesn't happen. of. It was just random. It's that that was unheard happening. of in the greater suburbs in a premium community, and yeah. we are in Meridiana for you for those of y'all that don't know. Yes. So that is. For all the rest of the builders above that, you're in the six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar price point to get gated. Yeah. Whereas with our builder, and your house is double the size and, of this house, and, and so it's just a whole different price point. Yes. And so that was another pro, but I, like I said, I think inventory is definitely the way to go if you are apprehensive like many of my clients are coming from different cities different states i would definitely pick an inventory home if i was coming from a different state unless my, i was coming at a different point of the year yeah. this was we moved in quick we saw this house we were uh approved and all of this stuff yeah and we were in here in what three weeks yeah it's like three it weeks. was quick and so for those people that especially those that aren't that are very more much so more visual yeah. and need to see it Inventory. inventory is 1000% the way to go just to kind of take that stress off of you mm -hmm. um, because I, again I have a lot of clients that are coming from different states they don't really have the means and or the time if even if they have the means they don't have the time to kind of keep coming forth. back yeah. and forth and kind of deciding these things in person and so the way to go to not be forced to be stressed about what it's looking like is to kind of go inventory at yeah, that point. Yeah, I would, I would suggest it. I'm happy with what we chose. I'm happy with the, the street and the She will children. get me a one story one of these days. She will get it. I'm telling you, she you gotta get be wearing me. a back brace. <laughs> I'm you, your hair is full gray, back brace. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> but yes, but you would say that you love the house. I do. You feel good about the house. I feel good. Will we be making changes to the house? Yeah. Yeah. But you would do that even in a house that you fully customize. There's stuff that you're going to do afterwards. Because it never looks like the model, does it? It never looks like the model. The right? model, they just go, they go all the way in on those models. Yep. And that's not, the, I, the, another thing is that I thought it looked very plain. Yes. Do you find that with inventory houses, they make them kind of like so most people would like them? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the really good builders, the really smart luxury builders are going to go very generic. Yeah. So I was actually very shocked to see that tile because that's like an espresso tile in their in their model home. Yeah. I would have expected them to go like a white or something that's a little bit more neutral. That's mm -hmm. typically what they would do. And most of the builders are going to go that way because they want the most amount of people to walk in it and potentially like it. Yeah. Um, and so it's going to be very white wall, white cabinet, so usually white very, here, very yeah. one note. Um, but that just gives you a blank canvas, in my opinion, to, to make it your own. Yes. As long as, it, I mean, it, it, you had our non-negotiables, like it had the floor. Yeah. That's a big price yep. off of us that we didn't have to customize. Yep. So that's something you can hang on to. It's like, oh, these are the floors that I want. Yeah. Go with that. Yep. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the, the house. I think we've shown them all the rooms at this point. I think so. We have five rooms. Yeah, so we went in guest room, saw Cheney's room, we all saw. The guest room, there's a lot of bathrooms. Yeah, there's, there's a bathroom. More bathrooms than a person needs. Yep. Come saw the spiral here. staircase, saw the living room. Not too, too much to see outside. That's just a backyard. We, we in the country. We got some yard. But other than that, I would say that I love this home and I'm glad that we got this one. I think we made the right decision. Mrs. would you agree? I think we made the right decision. I would not change it. I think if you if you showed me something even bigger, I would be like, no, that's now that's now way too much space. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, so pros and kind of cons of, of going inventory. There's there's definitely pros and cons. 
Yeah. Pro is that you get to see it. Yes. If it's sitting for a while, we definitely can talk them down on price. Yes. A lot. Um, they are still going to have invent. They're still going to have incentives on inventory. Um, the speed at which you can move into the house is going to be a lot quicker, so you don't have to wait. And Three do, weeks from do the tour build to, time. to move in. Now, there's different levels of inventory, but in our case, we were able to move in in like three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if you were to build, that process is going to be five to seven months, depending on the size of the home and the builder that you go with. Yeah. Um, some of the cons, you, you get what you get. You get what you get. You don't pick where your house is on the street. You yeah. don't pick you, your... You can't pick you know, your lot. You can't pick you know what what you're facing or any of that stuff on inventory you're just getting what you get there's going to be some things that you would have maybe chosen that they didn't and so mm -hmm. be prepared to have little projects i've done phase one of my little projects with outdoor hardware yeah, and there's we'll, no hardware on, on cabinets yeah all over the house there's no hardware that's yeah. normal right with that's Highland. pretty normal yeah and so there's there's little things like that that come with being in an inventory home, but overall, I don't think that I would change anything about it. What do you think? Nope, it's, it's perfect, I love it. Cool, all right, so that's the house. Again, it's the, the Mrs. Birthday today. Happy birthday to can the Mrs. confetti come down? I'll, I'll try to see if I can edit some confetti. <laughs> do, do this, ah, <laughs> ah, okay. But yeah, thank y'all for being on the journey with us. If you have any questions about whether or not you think building or new construction uh, building a new construction home or going the inventory route is the best goal for you. Hit me up, call, text, email, or hit me in the comment section down below. Talk to you soon.